Ladies and gentlemen, things just got so much worse for Donald Trump. You might remember a woman by the name of Sidney Powell. She was Donald Trump's lawyer during his attempts to overturn the 2020 election results. One of the most wacky individuals you will ever see. And she was charged in relation to the Georgia election interference case along with Donald Trump. Well, she decided there's a lot of damning evidence against me. I don't want to take this to trial. And she's pleading guilty. A part of that agreement with prosecutors requires her to testify against co-conspirators in the case if prosecutors ask her to, including, of course, Donald Trump. That's really bad for Trump. <laughs> Hooray for us. Here from Reuters, a former lawyer for Donald Trump on Thursday pleaded guilty to aiding the former U.S. president's efforts to overturn his election defeat in the state of Georgia, agreeing to testify against him if called. The lawyer, Sidney Powell, pleaded guilty to six counts of a conspiracy to commit intentional interference with performance of election duties, a misdemeanor charge. She agreed to testify against Trump and the other 16 co-defendants in the case if prosecutors ask her to. The Georgia case is one of four concurrent criminal cases that Trump, the frontrunner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, is facing and one of two specifically focused on his attempts to overturn his election defeat. Trump continues to falsely claim his loss was a result of fraud. Now, quickly, as a reminder, what are we talking about when we refer to this alleged criminal conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election results and keep Trump in the White House despite his loss. Among other aspects, you have the fake elector scheme attempting to assert fraudulent electors to be the lawful ones to just justify Trump staying president. You have pressuring Mike Pence to impede a lawful governmental certification of the election. And you have pressuring local election officials to fraudulently find votes and declare Trump the winner of a state that he lost. All of these actions, I might add, were a broader attempt to allegedly illegally disenfranchise millions upon millions of voters. Trump wanted to decide who won instead of allowing the voters to decide as our democracy demands. Now, by the way, Sidney Powell was one of the people involved in the Coffee County voting machine breach, coordinating the illegal tampering with voting machines in Georgia. Crazy stuff. So much of it, it's easy to forget. Now, it's been a while since we discussed Sidney Powell, so let's reflect on her a little bit. Here was her on Fox News in 2020 saying, all the voter fraud we keep referring to, it's going to be revealed. It's just around the corner. And of course, now she's changed her tune quite a bit. Well, joining us tonight is Sidney Powell, a member of President Trump's legal team, General Flynn's uh, defense attorney, a great American and prominent uh, appellate lawyer. Great to have you with us, Sidney. Uh, let's start with Thank Dominion. You, uh, a, a, str a straight out disavowal of uh, any uh, claim uh, of fraud against the company, its uh, software or machines. Your reaction? Well, I can hardly wait to put forth all the evidence we have collected on Dominion, starting with the fact it was created to produce altered voting results in Venezuela for Hugo Chavez, and then shipped internationally to manipulate votes for purchase in other countries, including this one. It was funded by money from Venezuela and Cuba, and, and China has a role in it also. So if you want to talk about foreign election interference, we certainly have it now. Have you ever heard the phrase cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, go look in the dictionary if the dictionary has cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in it, if your dictionary has that, and you'll see this photo as the definition. My goodness. She was one of the people who promised for months that just around the corner, as I mentioned, all the evidence is going to be revealed. She would say, we're going to release the Kraken. Needless to say, the Kraken is yet to be released, unfortunately, for Sidney Powell. But based on her participation in this scheme to subvert the will of the people and outside of our legal process that we have in place to litigate elections, just install Trump in the White House for four more years. And as happens when you do such things, she was criminally charged as a part of Fonnie Willis's Fulton County election interference case. It's always hilarious, by the way, to watch how bold and confident these individuals will be, as you saw with Sidney Powell on Fox News, as they're throwing metaphorical grenades at our democracy. And then once accountability comes around, they're no longer so confident about their claims that they were previously making. If Sidney Powell really had the Kraken, she could just release it now. Go ahead, release it. But no. All lies, as we know, but somehow millions of people in this country still don't. Before getting to how this could destroy Trump, here's a moment from an interview with Sidney Powell where she's pressed on her election lies and just gets up and leaves the interview. You claimed on Fox that Smartmatic shifted votes from Trump to Biden in multiple battleground states. That was your argument, wasn't it? 
that there was an algorithm run in the machines via the software that shaved votes from Trump and gave those to Biden. What actual research or fact-checking did you do at the time to find out what Smartmatic's actual involvement in the election was? Do you work for Smartmatic? You've made an allegation against Smartmatic that they stole a presidential election. I think it's incumbent on both of us to know what Smartmatic's involvement was. It seems like a pretty foundational fact. I mean, I'm confused right now about why you're here. Because you made a series of very strong allegations against Smartmatic and against Dominion, containing many errors of fact. Do you accept the fact now that the company that you accused of stealing a national election only operated in one county in L.A., in California? One county, one state? No, I'm not prepared to accept that fact. I think Smartmatic's involvement was far more significant than that. Do I think they're trying to minimize their involvement? Of course I do. You said that Smartmatic owns Dominion. How do you justify such a basic factual error? I'm going to stop this interview. It's wholly inappropriate in the litigation that we're in. But we're not even in the area of great dispute. These are the simple facts no. of who owns what. No, we're done. I'm sorry. These are facts. When we are in litigation against me personally, I, I understand that. For but we're, billions yes, of dollars. Yes, I understand that these are very serious so, allegations. Thank you very much. But these are also very basic facts that we're dealing with. Nothing will make okay all of the damage to the perception of the legitimacy of a democracy that was done by people like Sidney Powell. Trump, all of his minions, like Sidney Powell, told lies and participated in actions that we'll be dealing with the negative ramifications of for years. But moments like that, I have to say, give me a little bit of satisfaction. It's a little bit fun. Now on to Trump. If someone like Sidney Powell is that overwhelmed by the evidence and she decided to reach an agreement with prosecutors, that's a bad sign for Donald Trump. And if someone who worked right alongside Trump on these schemes to disenfranchise massive parts of the electorate is willing to point the finger at Trump, that's also a bad sign for Trump. Not to mention, you can fully expect to see more co-conspirators in this case make very similar agreements as Sidney Powell. And if that leaves just Trump and potentially only a couple others who are all having the finger point at them, yikes, yikes, yikes is all I can say for Trump's legal future. But that's good for the rule of law and our democracy. A little bonus clip. You may have noticed Sidney Powell holding a Diet Dr. Pepper, which is apparently her favorite drink because there was a strange moment in her deposition in front of the January 6th Select Committee where she also has a Diet Dr. Pepper, takes a nice swig at a very odd point in time. He seemed receptive to the presentation that you were making? He was very interested in hearing particularly about the FISA finding and the terms of 13848 that apparently nobody else had bothered to inform him of. Something about that gives me, and this is a technical term, so get ready, the heebie-jeebies. Hey, before you go, don't forget to become a member at lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, where you will now be getting access to a daily bonus show, an entire bonus show, Monday through Friday, exclusively for our members. You're missing out if you're not getting that. Plus, follow me on threads at Luke Beasley Official, Instagram at Luke Beasley Official, Twitter or X at Luke P. Beasley, and sign up for the Beasley Brief, a daily morning newsletter summarizing the previous day's events by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash brief, and I'll see you all in the next video.